Take off women! Yay, women! Yay, e-girls! Eagles ruined their career in seconds. These Eagle streamers weren't the same after just one incident, whether it's faking a kidnapping or straight up scamming your audience. Hold My up, name kidnapping? is Petazilla, and today we'll be talking about three Russian female streamers who ruined their career Russian in seconds. Russian female seconds. streamers, okay. Starting with Smikalka. Smikalka's streams didn't rely on classic e-girl model, known as Booba equals good. She actually had a pretty cool personality. Whether it was falling from chair, talking to chat, oh, playing CS, Okay, hey. People loved her. She was just okay, a sure. normal girl who didn't pretend to be something she is not. And that's what made her unique at the time. Everything okay. was going great yeah. for Smikalichka. She had a good name among other streamers, viewer count was growing, and you know, her career seemed to be going pretty well. Of course, that okay. would soon change and her viewers would realize she is not as cute and innocent as oh, everyone not thought. The devil One wings. fell evening, Smikalka turned on the stream and viewers were greeted with a face full of tears and fear in her eyes while she was begging people for help. Oh she God, explained how her mother was scammed and that she might go to jail for a flippant 25 years unless Smikalka somehow scrambles half a million rubles to get a lawyer so her mom half a million rubles what's that in euro uh 500,000 rubles in euro that is about 5,000 euros, could a little fight bit less. Against the scam. Half a million rubles at a time was around $8,000. Oh, which doesn't okay. seem like much, but for every okay. Russian citizen, Thank that's you. quite a lot. Regarding I'm, I'm, <laughs> chat, I'm not beating the YouTuber allegations. Pausing before... Fucking pausing before the answer is giving, man. Every fucking time! Does that seem to be no problem for her audience? She receives a lot of donations from her fans. And even other big creators tuned in to help her out. Can I just say how fucking uncanny this Pepe is? So fucking Сегодня uncanny. Сегодня я наткнулся на такую, блядь, историю. Вот у неё маму хотят в тюрьму посадить на 25 лет. Бля, ну вот такие вещи надо помогать, пацаны, типа. Не так важно допадать и просто стримеру, знаешь, на фане, типа, как помочь человеку с какой-то бедой. Лев! Сейчас я собираю деньги на адвокат, на айтфот. Да. Мы как сделаем? Или мой друг подедет? Или же мы с другом подедем, ну, скорее всего, может быть, завтра. Хорошо? Договорились? She received total of 600k rubles, which was even beyond the sum she even needed. Everyone felt sad for Smikalka. Like, come on, cute pretty girl done wrong? That cannot be. While majority of people didn't even question the whole situation, others didn't really. That is what you call reacting, Kitsu? What? What? buy it and when they were asking questions in chat they were instantly banned yeah i buy him i buy him that's kind of weird response when asking for a simple proof what's even more shocking is that her family wasn't really poor they had two cars a house uh, three uh, apartments uh, got damaged. what Smikalka even got her teeth done for a million rubles her mother was a general director of a gas company like how come they don't have money Whoa. for a General director of a gas company. Okay. Oh, another weird thing is that this whole trial has been going for 15 months already and she didn't even get a lawyer? That doesn't add up. The very next day, when Zelim Khan, the guy who called her to offer a helping hand, is on his meetup with Smikalka that they agreed on. He gives her a call and he's asking whether she will be there on time. My mom is advocate of Stichatsa, типа, ну, получается, наша помощь не нужна. Самый прикол, мы едем в Химки по ее делу. И мы развернулись, уехали. И даже не сказала нам, что... Yeah, like, if you're gonna fake your way through it, you gotta... Бабушка моя. If you're gonna fucking lie your way through it, you need at least cancel on them and tell him, yo, we managed, it's okay. And she answers that she doesn't need anything anymore. People did some digging and turns out her mother wasn't scamming anyone. She was the scammer. She was getting paid from the government for people that are dead, yet somehow still work in her gas company. When people Wait, what? found out, they were furious. Give me my money back. The allegations aren't true. It was a setup. You should sleep. <laughs> it was a setup. <laughs> no! You can't make this up. It was a setup. <laughs> oh my With god. Your 
her eyes open. You bastard! She didn't do anything. We can argue that Macalpa didn't know. Like what? Her mother comes in and goes, Hey honey, I'm scamming the government for a lot of cash. Today I got 1 million for people who are dead. What? Also, this scam was going for two generations already. So what? maybe her mom didn't even know? Her mother and her, like the mother of her mother and her great, okay? Grandma, like, bro! In my opinion, Smekalka would make way more money in the long run. So this quick cash grab didn't really make sense if it was really a planned setup. I personally think she just wanted to help her mom, although this whole situation does look a little sussy. Her mom, as for now, is serving her time in prison. She got five years. After causing a major social media scandal in Russia, Smekalka just left the internet. She wiped her YouTube, Instagram, and any other socials she had. Now, from what I've heard, she travels the world and enjoys her life without any appearance online. Yeah, her parents definitely have the fucking money for it, man. <laughs> After two generations worth of scamming. Once Mikalka started on Twitch, our next eager decided to begin her career on an oh, adult no. website. Oh no, Chad, you know, you know this logo in the background. You, you've seen this logo in the background. You know it, I know it, everybody knows this logo. The decision that would later ruin her career. Leia was opened about her past from the very beginning, with claims like We broke up and the chapter of my life is closed. I'm not ashamed of who I was, but I've quit for a reason. Leia made it clear Keep that going, her I'm past life done. is over, oh my God. and now all she wants to do is talk to her tear-free simps. Despite her eventful past life, her chat was quite civilized, and they respected new Leia. Her persona was a cute gamer girl, who is easygoing, funny, and cares about everyone. And of course, some cool anime- I- uh, This- the Uvu baiting. I hate is this. that the most amount of views? Come on, that's probably the reason why I even clicked on this video anyway. It seemed like Leia- I clicked on this video because I hate women. <laughs> oh my god. I'm sorry. The future is bright. But as we know, every rose has its thorn. Because Leia used to spend all her money on clothes, overpriced makeup sets, clubbing, just to come the very next day and cry about how she doesn't even have two dollars for a present for her mother. And since Thirsty Sims, who built for a social relationship with Leia, kept sending her money, without any second thoughts, she carried on using them as cash machines. This scheme mm -hmm. worked perfectly, until her viewers realized Leia is not as innocent as she claims to well, be. Well, One day, well. when her tear-free subs tuned into the stream, they were greeted by a familiar face, who was building her a gaming chair that she just got as a present from one of her viewers. It was her ex- mm, Why would he still be there? I wonder. Boyfriend, who we could remember from Leia's very first videos on adult websites. What? Oh, no. Wow, turns out this whole time he was not so ex uh. as she claimed. For a whole three years, people were lying to their faces and rightfully, they weren't happy about it. The I hate this. Like, if you're lying about your relationship status to gather more sympathy to make more money, you're disgusting. You're disgusting if you hate... Uh, hate your relationship status for that reason if you do it for privacy reasons respectable if you do it for money reasons despicable if comments like here are my last two dollars buy some tissues so next time i don't have to use my ding dong to clean sp from your face like last time and Looks like she wasn't that low on vitamin D after all. <laughs> <laughs> this was the very moment. moment where all the hard work Leia has put into her image started to fall apart. People didn't buy her story no more. If this dude is still here, then her past life isn't over, and she still does record adult videos. Which, in my opinion, is a dumb claim. As I see it, she did stop in the corn industry, but that doesn't mean you have to break up with your boyfriend too. Real life and persona on the internet are very different things. The yeah, only sure. problem here, in my opinion, is lying about being single. So more yep, people would that's try the problem. to take that spot by sending- That's a problem, that she lied about it. That she lied about breaking up with him.
to gather sympathy, to gather more money, to get more tier threesomes. Donations on the internet. But at the end of the day, streams were still the same and over some time this drama would fade away and nobody would really care. That would happen of course if Leia didn't cry about their haters every mm. single stream. Of course. Of course. Of course. Oh my god. Did that jacket not work? Did the jacket not get put on? She gave way too much attention to them and instead of moving on, she basically let this situation eat her from the inside. This was very apparent when one of the streamers made a joke about her pass on the collab stream. Wait, 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 let me, let me minimize myself, chat, so we can all read the subtitles the together. Pass on the collab stream. I think you on the yeah, wrong streaming platform. <sighs> oh, bro, why would you say that on a collab? Like, why would you do that? Oh, bro, that's just so disrespectful. Oof, bro. Oh my god, man. Oh my god. Sorry I'm late, it's my wife. I was prepared to stop apologizing for being late. It's okay. Turn in whenever you can. Maybe it wasn't her collab. I mean, she's part of the collab, though. Damn. If those in the end aren't the consequences of your own actions, I guess. I mean, she did lie to people about it and then she kept talking about it, I guess. It's still poor collab eti etiquette. Yes, that's what I'm saying. Like, that's what I was looking at, uh, at from, from like a streamer's perspective. Like, her behavior was pretty fucking shitty, but that was still fucking poor etiquette. Me a river. The past is like an anchor, waiting you down if you cling to it. Pepezilla 2024. This is Thanks, what Leia couldn't do, accept her past and move on. Instead, she basically cancelled herself and just left stream. Like literally, she kept talking about it. Like if you would have just like let it die, people would have forgotten. I mean, look at fucking Dr. Disrespect, man. Streaming for good. Now Leia is doing TikToks, Instagram, and adult content again for $10. I Would you look at that? Can't take the hate no longer. Today was my last stream. You can now support me by buying my pictures. I think if Leia just wow. said, Yeah, I sell my pictures for $10, so what? Nobody would really have a problem. You have dozens of famous people doing the same thing, Link and who cares? You don't really have to stop streaming because <laughs> oh, of that. Sake, Leia just wasn't strong enough to accept her past. If you open up any of her socials today, you can still find comments like, Internet doesn't forget, and escaping past won't fix your problems. Today's last digger who was caught like, I, I just want to go out and say if people like genuinely regret what they did in the past and want to be a better person, people should be more accepting um, of people's change. Because I can respect people wanting to change. Now, she didn't really seem to be wanting to change altogether and she was just lying about her relationship status and kept bringing it up. So I'm just talking generally here. Like in 4K is Danley, who went as far Twitch as taking goddamn kidnapping to maintain her career on Twitch. But let's start from the beginning. Elizabeth was born on the June of Excuse 28th me, in Moscow. She was an average Joe among girls. She had no idea what Twitch is and what is it for. All she cared about at the time was education, going out with girls, eating mm -hmm. borscht, and drinking borscht juice. Which is super sure. tasty, by the way. You guys have no idea. What is that? Borscht and drinking burst juice. What? What is that? Chat? Chat? Any, any, um, language understanders? Birch juice? Birch juice? Cock. It's cock. <laughs> Shut up! 
birch juice, okay. Which is super tasty, by the way. You guys have no idea. Basically, what I'm saying is she wasn't special in any way. Somewhere at this time, she met her future boyfriend, Eugene. While Danley Eugene! wanted to get everyday job, Eugene dreamed big. He was talking money. He had three jobs, money. but that still wasn't enough to satisfy his expectations from life. So he had to think of a great plan how to become rich. Monkey. And one day, he figured it out. To which new meta at the time were honkers. Did he make her do that? Wait a minute, I got a pair of honkers back home, said Eugene to himself and called up Elizabeth. If they can, why can't Ellie do the same thing? Well, the problem was they didn't even have a computer to begin with. Eugene proposed the idea of streaming to Ellie, to which she answered that she doesn't think it's gonna work. She has never even heard of Twitch, and all that is just waste of time. But Eugene believed so much in his plan that he took out a loan from bank and even borrowed some he cash from his home. The very next day they already had gaming PC at their home. Nice camera, good lighting, the guy knew exactly- <laughs> This is the real Slavic setup right here, chat. This is the real Slavic uh, fucking setup, man. This is exactly how I game. This is exactly how I game, chat. This is exactly my setup. Exactly what he was doing. <laughs> he was also aware of the fact that nobody will donate to a girl who has a boyfriend. <laughs> the very so first month, it. she already had big donos, regular viewers, and one of those viewers was Luntik. The guy hey, who Luntik. destroyed Danley's innocence. Luntik oh, no. was donating 100 oh. bucks here. Destroyed her innocence? 500 dollars there, and as oh, expected, no. they soon became pretty close to each other. Oh, Eugene no. one day had to borrow Danley's computer for work, but what he saw left oh, him speechless. No. Oh, you are so hot! <laughs> no, Chad! <laughs> no! Ah. Stop, you're making me blush. No, for real. I would do things to you. Oh, I wish. Are you gonna call tonight? I miss you. Sure, babe. Love you. <laughs> he he made her into a thought. He made her into a thought. If those aren't the consequences of your own actions, you told her to sell her body and so she did. But Eugene was angry for obvious reasons, but he felt like that's the business he's in. He talked to Danley, she apologized and promised she won't do it ever again. But none of them had any idea that this is the beginning of Danley's downfall. A few months passed after the Lontic incident, everything seemed mm -hmm. fine. But something okay, was okay, different about, about Danley. It. She has tasted forbidden fruit and liked it a lot. It was only a matter of time until oh, no. new Lontic would appear. Oh no. Oh no, Chet. Oh no, Chet. Peer. And of course, he He's... did. This he planted the seeds of the thought into her. He planted the seeds of thoughtery into her. She's tasted the thoughtery, and now she Time, can't stop. It wasn't stop. just guy with money. It was also guy with a lot of followers on YouTube. Oh just shit! Just to get around million views at a time. So oh, Danny shit. would gain big exposure from their so-called friendship. They talked a lot, sent memes, heart emojis to each other, blurted, and after like a week or so, Justy told her he would be coming to Moscow to meet his friends. So if she wants to, uh -huh. they can go on a date. Elizabeth, oh, no. despite having a boyfriend, likes the idea and agrees. They got oh, some no. food, hanged out for a bit, and then went to a hotel room. Out of nowhere, oh, hotel no. phone in the room starts blasting. And on the, the other fuck? side is some super angry dude demanding that Elizabeth goes out for a little talk. Ellie starts to cry and tells Justy that that's her ex-boyfriend. Justy, as a real man, tells her that they will go out and he will talk to them. They do so, and outside they see three oh, black no. cars, five Bro. big Russian dudes, and Bro. him, Eugene. The so-called ex-boyfriend. Three big guys grab Justy and take him to the side to give him a few punches. While that's happening, he can see how Elizabeth is reacting to one of those black cars as she's trying to break free. When that's done, they land final punch on Justy and drive off after they just kidnapped Ellie in front of Justy's eyes. He called police, but they didn't do much. However, the very next day, he received Cost not. Yay! a very strange message. Turns out, when Eugene found out Danley is out with some YouTuber in the hotel room, he called her up and said he will be there in two minutes to teach that guy a lesson. Danley panicked, ran downstairs, called him down and suggested they can fake a kidnapping to still make it look like Danley isn't the biggest, dirtiest liar in the world. Eugene felt like his emotions shouldn't stay in the way of their career and he agreed. They did everything 
everything according to the plan, but the very next day he re Bruh, they staged a kidnapping? Realized he's a cuck with a girl who nearly spent the night with some guy from the internet while he's over here taking care of her socials. So oh him and Justy God. made a goddamn three hours long video where they exposed Danley. Video from Justy got over 5 million views and now everyone wow. knows the true story of how ungrateful and evil Danley truly is. Maybe if Eugene was still around, Danley would even stream till this day because he wrote scripts for her, edited videos, Videos, shows what clothes she should wear on the streams, took care of her Instagram, and did everything from A to Z. So if somehow she still held strong and didn't give up after being exposed, she could have done something. But since she took everything for granted, she didn't even know how to set up OBS. And if you bite the wow. hand that feeds you, you might just get cancelled and quit internet. That's wow. what happened to Danley. All of the e-girls from this video should be examples for us why lying won't get you far. What the fuck is for Russian Twitch culture, like this, right? What the channel, hell? Maybe Patreon, follow me on Instagram and join our Discord server. Bye bye What the hell is going on over on Russian Twitch, man? Oh my god, this is a bit amateur hour for scammers in Russia, though. 5 out of 10 on execution. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Fair enough, man. I don't, I don't know that much about that. Us. Wow. Wow. This is all I have to say to this man. Wow. Wowzers. Wowzers, wowzers.